Would you just take a moment and introduce yourselves? I think a lot of our listeners will be familiar with you and what's been going on with your church and the persecution that you've been experiencing. We're going to talk about that, but go ahead and just introduce yourself to our listeners. Let them know who you are. Yeah, my name is James Coates. I, uh, I, I'm a graduate of the Master's Seminary twice. Uh, I graduated from a TMS with an MDiv in uh, May 2010, and then last year with a Doctor of Ministry. And uh, I've been pastoring Grace Life Church now for nearly 11 years and uh, have been in the pulpit that entire time and just faithfully preaching God's word and, uh, and find myself in the midst of quite a significant battle. You know, one of the things that I thought about sharing with your folks is one of the things that uh, is sort of levied against me is that in this season, I'm, I'm seeking attention. I'm trying to make a big name for myself. And I wanted to highlight that that's totally inconsistent with my life and, and just, um, just how I've carried out my ministry. I don't have a blog that I'm utilizing. I, I have no social media presence, no Facebook, no Twitter. I haven't sought in any way, shape, or form to broaden my ministry beyond the walls of Grace Life Church, and I've just been faithfully preaching the word verse by verse through books of the Bible these last 11 years. And so the attention that I'm getting now is, is simply by virtue of the fact that I'm following my convictions and walking in obedience to Christ, and, and that has put me in this position, and uh, it's not the most comfortable position to be in. I, I certainly wouldn't have chosen it and, and really believe it chose me. And, and my responsibility in it is to just be faithful. Yeah, amen. Uh, so how, how long were you, because you were actually arrested, you actually spent time in prison. How long were you in prison? And uh, when, when did you get out? How long have you been out now? I was in prison for 35 days and it's hard to even keep track of how long I've been out. It was uh, toward the end of March that I got out and it feels like a long time ago. It feels like I've been out for a while. And, mm-hmm. and I would say that even at this point in time, just in the context of God using all things for good, there's just nothing negative lingering in my life whatsoever from that experience in jail. Um, nice. I've seen the Lord just continually work in my life for good and uh, just give him pr- praise just for how kind he's been toward me. Praise God. How, how are your wife and children? How many children do you have? I got two boys. One is uh, 18 and the other is 11. And, and they're doing well. I mean... We just asked our oldest a moment ago if life was normal for him. And for him, it is mostly normal that there's tension around church. And certainly my imprisonment was a difficult time for him. But for the most mm-hmm. part, his day-to-day living is, is, uh, is functionally normal, which is good. I mean, that's the way I'd prefer it. And I think our 11-year-old would say the same thing. Now, we often talk a lot about COVID-19 and and. Right. the government and all that we're going through. So there's no question that there are moments that are more tense in our home than, than they would be otherwise. But, um, but I think they're doing well. And my wife, I mean, she's a huge support. Couldn't have asked for a better wife, a better partner. The Lord has uh, just blessed me richly with her. And she's dialed in, incredibly supportive, and, uh, and is there to encourage me when I'm weary. And so uh, oh, she's God. doing well. She's, uh, she's, faithfully putting one foot in front of the next and uh and just been a a wonderful blessing in my life thanks for watching this video we hope you enjoyed it if you did enjoy it uh, we hope that you'll take a moment and subscribe to our youtube channel so that you can watch more content like this also take a moment and give this video a like so that it can reach more people and take a moment and click on the bell so that you'll be notified whenever we come out with new content thanks so much god bless